sur eux. Everybody or anybody wants to come? The lesson is a little tricky today for the little ones, but we'll see. Oh, good, I'm one. Monkeys need Jesus too. Don't talk about injury that way. Thank you, Andy. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Glad that you're here. We're in Mark's Gospel, chapter 7, for my message today. And there, Jesus meets a man who cannot hear. And he can't talk. He is deaf. He can't hear. And he is mute. He can't speak. You may have met someone in your life who uh, has a physical challenge like that that can't hear. I, growing up, my grandmother, you got you got a mean, and. Uh, my grandmother lived with us for a, a long time. She, she took care of us and raised me and my little brother. And uh, she could not hear very well. And she could hear. She had a hearing aid. It's kind of like uh, she had a hearing aid like this uh, microphone that I have. And she had something like this that fit in her ear, like this microphone here. And she had a little box. And she would wear it, put that down in here. Little more, and uh, she could hear. That would help her. Actually, the sound was picked up by this. It had a little mi microphone right there in it, and uh, I, I think we, uh, I think my mother still had that, and I think I remember seeing it in her belongings, in Granny's things. I think we have one of Little Mom's old hearing aids. Often, when people can't hear. They can't speak because we learn how to talk. We learn how to speak by listening. When you were just a little baby, you started saying words. You started listening, and you learned how to talk like that. So uh, I hope that as you're, you probably have to take English and literature and reading and things like that. But I, I hope that you're learning other languages too. Do you know a word in another language? Addison, what's a, what's a word in what language? Portuguese, Chudabing. What is it? Chudabing. What does Chudabing mean? It means hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Where'd you pick that up at? <laughs> from baby. From baby. Do you know a, a word? Espanol. Espanol. <laughs> There you go. That's very, very, good. very ground floor, very basic. Can you speak monkey? <laughs> A language that I encourage you to try to learn is called ASL. ASL. It's three letters. It stands for American Sign Language. ASL is when you talk with your hands. You, you, when you're using sign language, you're talking with your hands, you're also talking with your mouth and your face and your body. I love watching people who can sign. I know a few signs. I've been fascinated by ASL and signing. When I was a pastor in a church in Arkansas, we had a, a young girl in our church that wanted to grow up to be a missionary to the deaf. And so our, a lot of people in our church were learning sign language with her. And so Terry and I started learning sign language then. If you see some of them, they do this. This is the sign. So watch this carefully. That means I can't speak and I can't hear. Now often they can they can speak some. Sometimes they can. But this is this means I am deaf. I can't hear and I'm mute. 
someone says, does this, and you see that, you will, they will might throw up their hands and they do like that. And they're trying to tell you, I cannot hear or speak. The next question might be, you would say, do, do you know sign, do you, like a sign language, Sunil? Do you, do you know sign language? If you do, you might say, oh, a Spanish word would be, oh, oh. <laughs> But the sign language just means, maybe just a little I might tell them. A little. My favorite sign in sign language is again. <coughs> again. Because uh, they'll sign to me and I'll say, oh, that was too fast. Do that again. And so they say, if they can speak or read sign language, they would say, yes, it's like this. You take your fist and you just nod your fist. You say, yes, I can. All right. We get the babies and the monkeys. All right, here we go. I want you to learn a few. Let me let me see. Uh, let me show you how to say what is your name. You say what? Can you do that with me? What? And then is your? And then take your two fingers like this and bump them together. What's your name? What is your name? Usually, you would spell your name. You know the alphabet, don't you? I would say, my name is J-O-H-N, John. And they'd go, oh. And then they might do this. I want you to follow me, okay? How? Put your hands together like that. How? And turn it over. How? Now, this is the letter in the alphabet for R. It's the letter R. How? Are you? How are you? What's that? It's, it, that's right. It's fine. <laughs> fine. Go and and they they talk like we do. They say, "How are you? How are you? Fine. I'm fine." There is a manual alphabet. Your name would be A, D, D. Or you might go A and then D, D like that. I. S, O, N. Addison. A, V, E, R, Y. Well, why this gives itself away to Avery. That's my name. That's my name, Avery. One of my favorite TikTok memes is that there's a man, he is deaf, and he's sitting at the table eating, and he has a little cat. His, his pet cat is sitting next to him. His cat is very smart. He knows that his master can't hear. So the master is just kind of eating, he's snacking away. And the, the cat reaches out with his paw and taps his master, and then he goes like this, like, I want some too. <laughs> so this cat knows that his master can't hear. It's a wonderful story where Jesus, he actually, uh, we, we should do our part, I think, to learn other people's languages when we can. I wish I had started many years ago, learn Portuguese and Spanish and other, other languages. But another language that just as important, learn ASL, learn your alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Learn your manual alphabet. Would you like to spell your some of it? Some of you just don't. If you don't know the sign for it, then uh, you can spell it. But Jesus made it possible for that man to hear and to speak. We, you and I probably can't do that. So let's do our part. If you know someone who cannot hear or speak, maybe you can become their best friend by just learning a few signs. 
My, what a smile you would bring to their face if you ever walked up to them and say, how are you? They might say, I'm fine. Thank you. All right? Thank you very much. Thank you. Y'all are more fun than a barrel of money.